This is my world, Juanita responded in her best American accent. Es mi vida, no FCC. What's it like to grow up like that? No censorship. Juanita thought for a moment. We get the truth, pero tengo miedo. You're afraid of the truth? Juanita shook her head and twisted her mouth in an attempt to better communicate what she meant. The journalists die. You know this información, see? ¿sí? Morgan nodded her head. Juanita tightened her ponytail. This is life without censorship. 106.7, rock sin fronteras. Ahora tenemos rage against la machine. <laughs> ah, the girls said in unison, smiling at one another as if they were old friends on a road trip simply returning home. Just about the time the first, fuck you, I won't do what you told me, spewed through the speakers, Morgan cleared the top of the hill and began the descent to the border checkpoint. The lines were not long. She estimated that it would take 15 minutes to do her job as coyote. Like, you don't fear the government? Juanita asked in a whisper as Morgan rolled the windows all the way down. No, it's easier not to think about it. Just do it. She snuffed out the cigarette. I don't really want to think about consequences until I get older. If I'm going to regret anything, I might as well regret it when I've slowed down a little and have some time to really think about it, you know? Oye, mami! A voice floated into the car. They followed the words to the speaker. A 40-something man with a giant mustache was grinning at them from the window of a newly painted iridescent El Camino. Juanita turned to Morgan. Do what you would do if you weren't worried about getting caught. Juanita promptly flipped the man off. Híjole, mami, que fuerte, he said, <laughs> clutching his chest. Do men in America say these things to mujeres? Morgan thought for a moment. My mom says all men think it, but not all men say it. She eased up on the brake, continuing the slow caravan into America. It is difficult to be a girl here. Morgan nodded her head, knowing that she could never truly empathize. It is safer over there. Juanita pointed beyond the gates as if it were only a matter of distance. Morgan bowed her head, knowing that Juanita was talking about the disappeared. It was the reason her own mother did not want her ever to cross the border into Mexico. Don't worry, Mom. Morgan had told her mother that very morning. They don't kill Americans, only if you do something really stupid. Everyone knew it was true. They only killed Mexican girls, hundreds of poor Mexican girls. It was the shared shame that neither side would put an end to. My cousin, Juanita said, she was 14. The silence only lasted a few seconds. We can't cry, Morgan said. They'll know something's wrong. See, see? Juanita took a deep breath and crossed herself. Rage had melted into the lightest crossover. In what seemed like the purgatory roll to the checkpoint, the record of Juanita's short life played before her for her to reckon with. She heard her mother's voice recounting the tale of La Malinche, the mother of the first Mexican an insult to some, a source of pride to her mother. I didn't kill you, mija, Juanita's mother had told her once, but I didn't keep you to die in Mexico. Juanita's heart began to race as she drew closer to the giant Mexican flag waving the side of the line. I am Mexican, she said aloud to Morgan, who looked at her panicked for the first time, but I am border Mexican, es diferente. In the remaining moments, as of justifying to St. Peter, she expressed to Morgan the difficulty of growing up so close to Los Americanos. Americanas that look so much like her, separated only by an imaginary line. If the line was imaginary, then anything she could imagine was possible. Don't go, honey, Morgan's mother had said to her that morning as she walked out the door. She eased her foot off the gas while trying to keep the clutch steady. Go, mija, and don't look back. The DJ's voice spun in Juanita's head. Orbita, orbita. Would there be reception across the border? 
The guard's face appeared parallel with theirs in the window. Citizenship, he asked for the thousandth time that day. Morgan responded with veiled confidence. The guard then looked at Juanita, first in the eyes and then from head to toe as he waited for her to response. Though it was in her heart to say, soy mexicana, she said the line almost exactly as she'd rehearsed it. Like American, of course. Thanks for listening.